So with nearly only a week left until the pike deaths, I think it's time we have one final video to predict all the people it could be. Well first of all, let's talk about who it was in the comics. In the comics, it was Olivia, Josh, Carson, Tammy, Luke, Erin, Ken, Amber, Larry, Oscar, Rosita and Ezekiel. And what all of these characters have in common is shown when their loved ones see them on the pike. They're all related to someone who can push the story forward and can actually benefit the characters that are still alive. For example, Tammy dies and her husband, Earl, turns out to be a really good and useful blacksmith for Hilltop, which is why Tammy's death in the show is so vital to happen, because her husband will go on because of her death and have a massive part to play in the show from now. Like, he's vital to the Hilltop now. Another example would be Luke. Luke dies in the comics and the newer characters that joined with him fight in the Whisperer War because of his death. Not to say that they wouldn't have fought without that, but it gives them a big reason, it gives a character purpose. Especially with Yumiko being in this group that gets captured in the trailer for episode 15, this means it is most likely Luke that dies, or someone else in their group. It's going to be so interesting to see how the show handles this, and this is why I made this video. We are going to take the whole of issue 144, where the Pike deaths happen, and we are going to determine how the show is going to handle this massive, massive scene. So I'm going to read to you what happens in issue 144 and then completely reinvent it using what the show has showed us in the trailer for episode 15 and just what we know about who's leaving and what's been foreshadowed. So in the comics, the lead up to the Pikes, this is what happens. After showing Rick the massive horde of roamers, Alpha takes him off the building and takes him back to the Whisperer's camp. Rick asks Alpha what she wants from him. She replies he has nothing to offer her. She proceeds to mock Rick's fake way of life and say how they are like children playing pretend. Rick then questions her about the ideology about the Whisperer's being free despite them referring to their leader as Alpha. Alpha just responds by saying every pack of animals needs an Alpha and a Beta. Rick, Carl and Lydia return to where he left his search group and sees two horses surrounded by dead whisperers and the group of Michonne, Andrea and Dante missing. They quickly get on their horses and ride off. Rick is panicking because he saw blood on Alpha's machete and with the disappearance of Michonne, Andrea and Dante he assumes Alpha has killed them. Whilst Rick is explaining to Carl why he's worried he's interrupted by seeing a long line of heads on pikes. Now in the comic, the way this works, you turn each page and you're making the same discovery as Rick. You're finding out who these heads are and the very end discovery is Ezekiel. That's like the biggest kill off here. So to help all of you watching this have your own prediction list and so we can all predict fairly accurately, I think we should take the comic issue and implement it into the show from what we've seen in the trailer. So I'm gonna try and make chronological order out of this trailer and implement it into the comic so we have a good idea of how the episode's gonna play out and then have an even better idea of who's gonna end up on the pikes. So the episode begins and it's the start of the fair. It's all about Ezekiel, he's all happy and the first 20 minutes of this episode will just be pure joy by the characters. The fair commences and Daryl leaves halfway through. This is the last time you will see the king or Henry or both alive. Daryl, Carol, Michonne and Yamaka get captured when they're on a search party for some missing people. In this shot we see Daryl wearing a jacket so this proves he does get detained at this camp longer than you'd think. Instead of the comics where Alpha shows Rick the Romers, Alpha takes Daryl to the rooftop and shows him the Romers. It should be clear that at this point Daryl is 100% taking Rick's place in this episode, meaning he will be the one claps into the ground when he sees the pikes. Alpha and Daryl are alone are talking. She's pretty much threatening Daryl, telling her that no other people have to die, but if she could, they'd all die. Carol, Michonne and Yumika are in the camp meanwhile, so Daryl's been taken away at this point. Daryl agrees and accepts Alpha's offer to just walk away. Carol and Michonne are hesitant, but Daryl has been spoken to by Alpha and he knows the best thing to do is to go. It doesn't have to be like how it was with the saviors. So all four leave unharmed. Now this is the bit where the story turns because we all know what happens on the way back. Think about what has changed from the comic. Think about the reasons for those changes. If Henry's taken Carl's comic storyline, why wasn't he and Lydia there with Daryl? Daryl has suddenly taken Rick's story in the show. So why wasn't Henry and Lydia there? Well, the time has come. It's time to finally predict who will die on the pikes. Number 1. Tammy 
Tammy is just one of those deaths that need to happen. This scenes that her and Earl have been having lately, it, it suggests one of them will die. And out of the two, the characters would only really benefit from Tammy's husband. So when Tammy dies, he will be a massive, massive part in the show. Not only is he a blacksmith, but him and Tammy are currently in possession of one of the Whisperer's babies. And not to mention, you might not remember this, but in the first half of season nine, Earl tried to kill Maggie because Gregory manipulated him because he was in a time of sadness. They wouldn't give a character such a time of sadness and then kill him off for his wife to go on and do things. I definitely think Tammy will die. Number two. Magna. Now I had to think about this for a long time. I even delayed this video because of this. Because I've been thinking it will be Luke and Alden since the beginning of the season. We saw in the first episode back from the season 9 break that they were captured and even though they didn't die then it didn't change my opinion. I still thought they would die. But then I see in the trailer for episode 15 Yumiko is with the three that were captured because in the comics there's three it was Rick, Carl and Lydia but Yumiko is there with Michonne and Carol who have replaced them. And the rule that I've come up with from issue 144 is whoever in episode 15 gets captured by the Whisperers will be the first to see the Pikes. And the fact Yumiko has been thrown in there, it's insane to me. Like, this changes so much of it. The reason the TV show has changed it from Rick, Carl and Lydia to Daryl, Michonne, Carol and Yumiko is because these characters will be the first to see them and will have characters on the Pike that connect to them. And I don't know about the show, but in the comics, Magna is Yumiko's girlfriend, and we've seen, right, in episode 15, Yumiko and Daryl are by themselves for a bit, they're, they're searching themselves, but why isn't Connie with him? Because if it was Connie with Daryl as usual, I would have said Kelly, but I, I just don't think it will be now. Magna has a massive, massive role in the comics, and it blows my mind, but for this Pike scene, they don't need to have loads of deaths, they need to have the same effect in the comics, they need shock. They need to shock even the people that read the comics, they need to shock everyone, that's what this scene is about. So I don't think they need to kill loads of major characters, they just need to shock us. And honestly, Yumiko has done so much more than Magna in Season 9 already, I think Yumiko could just be the leader of her group. So this would mean she takes Magna's role in the comics, and it starts from there. But remember me saying this, if it isn't Magna, it's Kelly or Connie 100%. Number 3. Enid. When Luke and Alden were captured, I thought that was it for them. And shortly after that, I realised they were both saved because it would be their partner that would die. Now, obviously, Magna isn't in a relationship with Luke, but there was this scene on the episode they were returning in, and Magna and Enid were talking, and it appeared they were literally the complete opposite of them. Meaning if Luke had died, Magna would be the one most getting hurt by it. And if Alden did, Enid would. Moments before they were captured, Luke and Alden kept mentioning singing at the fair. Of course, Luke was a music teacher and that's how it worked. And we see pictures from the fair and they're holding paper with lyrics on it. And I looked up the lyrics to this song and it's a song by UB40. The way you do the things you do. Long story short, this song is about what could have been. When you look up the lyrics to this song, literally the word could have is said about 30 times. It's all about what could have been, but sadly will never be. And so this is why Alden is singing this, because it's to Enid. We know she will die. I don't know if this holds any relevancy to Luke, but this is why I think this song in particular was chosen for Alden to sing. Number four, King Ezekiel or Henry. I don't think a death has ever been more obvious. But that's what worries me. Ezekiel has gone full circle. He's had a lot of development. He's the happiest he has ever been. This Pike scene is meant to give viewers and to give the characters no sense of hope. All the hope that season 9 has given these characters is meant to be completely relieved by the Whisperers with this Pike scene. And that's what the fair stands for. It stands for the hope. Ezekiel now stands for the hope. In the trailer for episode 15, it's all about Ezekiel, about how far everyone's come and about hope. And I think the big, big plug to pull on everything to do with Hope would be to kill Ezekiel. It really, really makes sense. But why wasn't Henry with Daryl? Henry's meant to be taking Carl's comic storyline, but for him to do that, he needs to be with Daryl and Lydia at the camp with Daryl, but he seems to be at the fair still, and it just looks bad for him. Not to mention, a whisperer stabbed him in the leg, and like I said in one of my other videos in the past week, this highly resembles his older brother getting stabbed in the leg. It's in the exact same place. His older brother, Benjamin, actually got Got shot in the exact same place so i think this is foreshadowing his death i really haven't been able to come to a decision though so this is why the video is delayed like, i just can't get my head around it carol will see one of these people on the pike that's absolutely gonna happen but i just had to put both these characters in the same list but i don't think they will both die one of them will die i really can't get my head around it though number five 
Rosita. Now this is another really tricky one to get your head around because you've got three characters literally revolving around Rosita. And when you're watching the show you really know that one of these four will die. Out of Rosita, Gabriel, Sadiq and Eugene. I think Gabriel and Eugene are absolutely necessary to help Michonne find Rick and I think that's completely different. I think they're 100% safe. Gabriel is the only one in the show left that has full knowledge on the helicopter situation. Negan saw it but he doesn't know a thing about it. Eugene will fix the radio and so we're left with Rosita and Sadiq. The actor for Sadiq is actually appearing on Talking Dead right after, so that definitely makes it look like he's gonna die. But Carl literally died for Sadiq. He had so much shite in season 8 about him getting Rick to like him, becoming a doctor. I just don't see him dying yet. But just like the comics, Rosita's pregnant and her death would completely bring the three characters surrounding her closer together, meaning Eugene, Gabriel and Sadiq would come closer together, benefiting the story. And I think the show's up to something clever. They've actually revealed who Rosita's baby is before the Pike scene. In the comics, you have to find out after. So I don't know whether that will change the result of the Pikes, but I'm definitely going towards Rosita being on the Pike. But if it's not Rosita, 100% it will be Sadiq. Number six, Ozzy and the Highwaymen. Since the very first moment the Highwaymen were revealed to be good characters, I can just see how this is going to work out. The leader of the Highwaymen, Ozzy, since the moment he's been in the show, has been some comedic character. He's been a bit satire. He's been one big beam of hope to everyone. The kingdom have found another community. And so for the people of the kingdom to see that it was them that brought the Highwaymen into this, it just makes so much sense to me. I've, just, I've had this feeling since I've seen the Highwaymen. It's like they're in it to die. Or the bigger theory I've had is that Ozzy appears on the pike and the rest of the highwaymen work with the kingdom and help out in the Whisperer War. That's how they get more people is because the highwaymen's leader Ozzy appeared on the pike. Now these are just the characters that I strongly feel will leave. I'm certain they're going to find a way to make sure there's as much as there was in the comic, but I do think these really are going to be some of the main ones. And so these are my final predictions. Now I made this video so you can make your own prediction list and put it in the comments and actually have your own accurate list. And I made sure it wouldn't affect my original prediction list, because I think that's a bit unfair, but three deaths have been allegedly confirmed, and I think it's my job to tell you what these three deaths are. Now remember to bear in mind that the spoiling dead have absolutely not confirmed any of this and they are the people to go to if you want to know what happened. So at the moment these are pretty much rumours. I'm going to tell you what these confirmed spoilers are and it's your choice to believe them or not. It's looking like these are the only major ones and it's looking to be quite disappointing if they are. So the allegedly confirmed three deaths are Tara, Enid and Henry which to me are just my least favourite characters so it won't really have any effect on me apart from make season 10 better if I'm being honest with you. Like it's not really going to be a shocking death, it's just going to be a detour. <laughs> I understand Angela Kang definitely said she wanted to kill off less major characters and the show is trying to prove they don't have to kill so many major characters off to be shocking but with the Pike death of all scenes in the show, you need shock for this, you need major characters going because that's how the Pike scene works. The whole point of the Pike deaths is to scare the viewers, to make you hate the Whisperers. Fear, shock and hate, that's what the Whisperers are trying to convey to the viewers. You need to feel that and with these three deaths, if this turns out to be true, it's not fear, it's not shock, it's not hate. For me, these are the most unlikable characters in the show and so as much as I'd like to have Ezekiel stay alive, I'm going to be severely disappointed if these three deaths that have been allegedly confirmed are the only major ones on the pikes. This is why I love season 7 episode 1, my favourite episode of all time. They killed two of my favourite characters in a horrible way, but it was such an iconic comic scene and everything about season 7 episode 1 was executed literally perfectly in every way. Even the cliffhanger that happened in season 6 episode 16 leading up to 701 was amazing, I liked it. That's an unpopular opinion but I wouldn't have changed that for the world, I think it just worked so well. And The Walking Dead does deaths better than any other show, I think sometimes the timing may be really bad, I think sometimes the wrong character is killed off, but when the death happen it fits that character perfectly and I think maybe Henry and Enid would it would fit them possibly but to make this scene not disappointing and actually have this iconic scene pay off well you've got to kill some big big characters
So now you know everything you need to know about the Pikes. So you officially have everything you need to make your own list. Make sure you comment your list down below. I'm going to try and read all of them. So make sure you put your list, every single character you think will be on the pack. It's times like this. It's really, really major times for the show. So make sure you're subscribed so that you are the first to see my videos and the first to hear about The Walking Dead. And yeah, you might not hear from me until after the episode. So good luck. Thanks for watching.